We're going to do a brief video of QS stock, QS stock analysis. And we've got a daily chart here of quantum scape with three moving averages on here for you. It's got a green moving average, a five day moving average, a red 20 day moving average, and a 200 day blue moving average. Let's take a look at this stock real quick. We can see that it broke down, it, it was in a bear market, came and rallied up past the 200 day and tried to get back into bull territory back here in November of 2021 and then plump promptly plummeted right back down into a bear market here at the end of November and we've been in a bear market in this stock ever since it had great respect for the 20 day moving average as you can see the price stayed below it all the way down until it began to move sideways down here in February of 2022 and this this stock got too far away from the 200 day moving average so it went sideways and then challenged it here it failed on that underside attempt to penetrate the 200 day back in uh, April of 2022 came down here and set some new lows in this bear market and you'll notice it's doing it again it's going sideways to get to the 200 day moving average and trying to make some attempts to get out of this bear market the reality of the situation is if we blow this up a little bit we can see that this stock put in some lows back here and uh, it's getting close to them again so back here in June 16th we put a low of $8.22 and it looked like, looks like that is the low, $8.22. And now today, we're at $8.91. So this stock, QuantumScape Corporation QS, is $8.93 today on 7 million shares. Its normal volume is close to 6 million shares daily, and it's traded over 7 million shares. It's about it's almost 3 o'clock. So we're down 9% and down about a buck, 90 cents or so on the day so what's going on well several things first thing is this 20-day moving average is essentially flat so we can't really do anything with that but it is notable that the price is below the 200 the 20 and the five day moving averages so this stock's definitely still in a bear market it's also noticeable notable that this low which was 963 was violated by this low which is 956 we had a lower low and we had higher high lower highs here so this stocks distributing across here we had a rally we didn't even get close to the 200 day and this stock is now distributing so that means that the people who thought this was going to be the bottom have lost confidence in it and are selling out across here so one of two things is going to happen you're either going to get new money coming in here almost immediately at this level at the at the uh, you know low uh, nines high eights level and if you get that, we should rally back up to around here at the $13 level by the second week of October. If that doesn't happen, by the way, if that happens, that'll be challenging the 200-day moving average, and then there'll be a little war to see if we're going to break out of the spare market. But if that doesn't happen, and if this decline continues, then we're going to come down here and challenge this $8 and 22 cent low back in June. And if it breaks through that, then this stock really doesn't have any support here. Uh, you know, there's 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 not there's not a whole lot there for quite a while. So we have to make sure that we understand there's really nothing down below 822 for quite a while. So what do I expect to happen? In this particular case, I don't expect, you know, I'm 50-50 I'm, I'm on either one. If we get our little bottom in here very, very soon, like today or tomorrow, and we should get some rally up, we should go for a week or, or 10 days and some low little sideways movement, get the five and the 20 underneath the price, first your five and then 20 will pick up around here. And you should then see some, some movement up in this stock, as I said, towards the 200 day moving average. But if it doesn't stop, we're gonna get, um, this challenge right down probably to the 822 uh, level because there doesn't appear to be much conviction to take the stock out of here they tried and it failed and now they're selling it out so that's where i am right on this stock right at the moment it's going to take another three weeks to see what goes i don't think we'll break out of this bear market within three weeks but i think we'll know whether or not uh, it's got a shot at breaking out at the end of the three weeks um, the bottom line is today the stock is still in a trading range it started all the way back June 15th you could argue it started in May and uh, it's got to tell us what it's going to do and right now I don't think um, there's really much more you can take away from these charts with, you, with moving averages that's all I've got for you on this stock we do have 190 stocks we cover every morning with algorithmically generated entry prices you can see they're put out today and put out every Monday through Friday morning before 7 a.m. and cover the most liquid stocks we do not cover 
uh, quantum scape, I think the volume is normally too small for or too low for us to cover, but we cover most of the big ones and a lot of the smaller ones. Uh, you can see Apple, NIO, and Tesla's here. These are one, five, and 20 day hold periods. These are not trend following, it's just algorithmically generated prices with a one day hold, a five day hold, and a 20 day hold. The way it works is if you get in this column, assuming your own analysis says it's a good idea, you close out the trade on this column at the end of the next trading day. Uh, just before closes at a loss or take your profit sooner same thing for the five and the 20 if you bought in the 20-day column you take your profit as soon as you got it and close out worst case at a loss at the end of the 20th trading day so that's how this works you can get it all for free absolutely no cost no credit card required at rvmresearch.com there's a link in the description below you just click on that link go over there put your email address in there and you have access to 190 stocks the major forex pairs btc crypto and the most liquid futures contracts. Everything is long or short except for the stocks, and the stocks, as I just showed you, are longs only. If you like these videos, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. We'd love to hear from you in the comment section below, especially regarding moving averages and how you feel about them. And keep in mind, everything you've seen or heard on here, including the intro prices and my commentaries for entertainment purposes only, can only use it for entertainment, can't use it for anything else, and you definitely trade at your own risk.